the Forest Preserve, how that came about is that we, the original idea, and Chet was involved, it was the chamber, and that we were going, it was a good idea to have a park district. And that's where this all started. Sure. The problem was our first the attorney that was the attorney for the Chamber of Commerce ended up misfiling. During, we didn't hear anything back for a while. During that time, uh, somebody at Oregon, uh, through some word of mouth, uh, said Byron file for a park district and they didn't file properly. Then they came back, they file, then they told us we file wrong. Okay. And <laughs> as it turned out, we did file wrong. Okay. You can do things, you can file, but you're probably going to lose and it's going to cost you a lot of money. I was driving back the back way mm -hmm. and I see this sign, Severson Dells Forest Reserve. And I, we'd taken our kids there and walked mm -hmm. around. I thought, man, I wonder what a forest preserve is. Uh -huh. And how do, how do we, you know, is this something that we could sure. work with the park district? So I got a little more educated, called Jim up and said, what, you know, what do you think? Is this something we, if we got a chance to do it? So he did some research and said, yeah, because most of, the, most of them are countywide right. and we just right. wanted to have it small. Uh, and, and as I remember, I think there was maybe one other district in the state that had less than county. Uh -huh. uh, so we got back together with the chamber and Chet yeah. and Blaine and I think Bob Gosick maybe. Uh, and what Ben is telling you sounds very simple today, but it was extremely complicated because there were none of these things. Sure. You know, we had to use our imagination. I mean, there was nothing out there. Yeah. I mean, they had no association yeah. for Forest Preserve separate. Yeah. Only the Park District Association was formed. Okay. Yeah. And they were sure. well-oiled. Yeah. And it, So there was a lot of phone calls and we said, okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And the, the original vision was that the Forest Preserve would be able to provide some things that the Park District couldn't, you know, sure. as a got like a golf course or uh -huh. trails for cross country or, take or, or three, baseball, uh, yeah. whatever. Uh, and so the decision was to go ahead. We had Jim file the papers. And then really the hardest part then, it was you've got to get an election okay. to approve. Well, this was a whole new concept of a forest reserve. Nobody really had much idea. Right. So it was a lot of education, a lot of going to Lions Clubs and speaking at a library and and at wherever somebody would let us speak. And we divided up. Yeah. Chip, and then we had committees. Uh, you tried to have a head of a committee for each neighborhood. It's a lot more work than it sounds like. Oh, yeah. Like. Well, that, I mean, <laughs> looking at your timeline, yeah, I think the... You had to switch gears somewhere in August of 1980, and then the election was in October of 1980. Yeah. And so you're meeting, you're in educating all these people in the whole district in four months. I mean, that's an incredible feat. Yeah, we, I don't know how you'd do it.